Welcome to Euro Channel. Here's a topic that might surprise you. What you eat could actually influence the erectile function of your penis. My name is Stefan Bundrock. I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. And in this video, it's all about diet and platelets. Watch this video if you are confused now, because in a couple of minutes, you will want to know more about your platelets. When treating erectile dysfunction, the right diet is the key to optimal success. It supports therapy. Well, to most of you, this will be yesterday's news. Here's what you probably don't know. It's mean platelet volume. The size of the platelets in your bloodstream appears to be linked to your erectile ability. Research suggests that larger than average platelets may negatively impact erections. They seem to interfere with normal vascular function and cause inflammation. This would then interfere with the release of nitric oxide from the inner lining of your blood vessels. This has a direct negative impact on your erections. For example, in one study comparing patients with vasculogenic ED compared to healthy controls, the average MPV for ED patients was 7.49 plus minus 1.4 femtoliters which is a quadrillionth of a liter. For the control group, it was 6.85 plus minus 1.2 femtoliters. However, the study does not establish a strict threshold or cutoff point for clinical use. The findings suggest that elevated MPV is a risk factor, but further research would be needed to determine a specific cutoff value that could be used diagnostically. I think this is a very interesting point, because MPV can be measured with a simple blood test. With an established threshold, one would be able to have another diagnostic tool for vasculogenic ED. What you eat potentially has an influence on the size of your platelets as well. I'll come to that in a minute. Platelets are especially interesting for me because of the P-shot for erectile dysfunction. I have uploaded a couple of videos on this method. It involves a process called platelet-rich plasma, which is generated from the patient's own blood. PRP contains a significant number of platelets fully packed with growth factors. Growth factors for rejuvenating your penis. I thought I might as well share this with you. I know it's a very special topic, but it will give you insight into my daily work as a urologist and sexologist. So, how does diet come into play here? While diet can support overall vascular health, the direct impact on MPV and PRP effectiveness isn't fully established. Still, loading up on omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants can be beneficial for your general health and might contribute to better outcomes over time. Consistency is key. Some studies suggest that it takes about 6 to 12 weeks of sticking to these dietary changes to see a significant impact on your overall health, potentially benefiting your PRP treatment indirectly. And if you're in it for the long haul, sticking to a heart healthy diet like the Mediterranean diet can do wonders for your cardiovascular health. Maybe some of you are thinking about getting the P-shot and you may be asking yourselves whether you could do something to boost your results. This is it keep a healthy diet, at least within the weeks around treatment. I have started to ask my patients to live vegan during the weeks of the treatment. You know, I talk a lot to colleagues and this is what some of them reported back to me. Any anti-inflammatory diet seems to benefit treatment outcomes. The platelets should be as healthy as possible. NPV seems to be a measure that defines platelet health. However, it's important to note that while some studies suggest the potential role of MPV in PRP treatment outcomes, this relationship is not fully understood. As always, research results may contradict each other. Interestingly, some recent studies suggest that smaller MPV is generally associated with less favorable outcomes in PRP therapy, indicating that higher MPV might be more beneficial for the success of such treatments. Oh? One study found that an MPV below 8.95 femtoliters was linked to a lower response to PRP treatment for erectile dysfunction. 
And when you compare this to the numbers I was mentioning earlier, it doesn't make sense. You're probably confused now, but don't worry. There's still much to learn and research is ongoing. The impact of diet on erectile function is unchallenged, however. Here's the takeaway. If you're thinking about PRP therapy, whether it's for erectile dysfunction or anything else, don't underestimate the power of your diet. By making some simple, smart changes to what you eat, you're giving your platelets the best possible chance to work their magic when they're concentrated and injected back into your body. Start making those changes at least a few weeks before your PRP procedure and stick with it. The longer you maintain a healthy diet, the more benefits you'll see, not just in your MPV, but in how you feel overall. That's it for today. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.